you guys we are currently in the car headed to go work out today's video is going to be a monthly reset of course we're doing our morning routine just like normal and i'm going to show you guys my arm workout today i'm gonna walk for 10 minutes for a warm-up do my arm workout and then we'll finish with some stretching it's the last week of march right now so i wanted to do a little reset before the new month came get into a nice flow and just get ready for april and also for the second quarter of the year to start but yeah we are just about to go work out right now start our morning off right you guys know that i love to work out in the mornings take me out the trap take me off the mark take me off the mat i'm trying to hit the group chat and tell them it's a calm and rescue me take me out the club take me out the trap take me off the market take me off the mat I'm trying to hit the group chat and tell them it's all I don't really know how to confess my love Really seem like I want to test my love For you who don't know how to express my love That's why American Express all right, you guys, we are about to go to the store. I look a mess. I have a list of things that we need on my phone. We just need to get some restocks and then just some groceries for the week. So that's what we are about to do right now. Head to the grocery store and grab what we need. Here is my OOTD. I just have on a little quarter zip that says Seattle. I think that this is so cute. I just have on some biker shorts. We're just gonna be around the house, obviously doing our reset today, so don't have to dress for the weather. But yeah, super cute, super cozy. We are going to start getting into our real reset routine, not just our morning routine. Right now, I need to strip the bed of the sheets, minus the satin or silk pillowcases, because I just washed those last night, actually. But everything else needs to come off to go through the wash new sheets on the bed and stuff after we after we clean the bedroom a little bit later but i'm about to strip those sheets get those started and then we are going to go do some kitchen restocks kitchen restocks. I got these jugs off Amazon because I want to put my milk and my creamer in here. I know it's kind of extra. I just want everything to be cute. I'm just a girl. And then we have a leak container that I use for coffee, which is almost out. So we're going to refill that as well. This is the coffee that I use. It's called Cameron's. This is the breakfast blend. It's a light roast. My mom actually put me onto this brand. It's allergen free and it's gluten free and it is 100% premium. Arabica, Arabica. I don't know what that word is, but it is 100% Arabica coffee. So we're gonna go ahead and blow this into this jar. All right, the first jar that I'm gonna do is almond milk. guys it's so gloomy outside i have to use some lights in my room to make it 
a little bit brighter but we are going to go ahead and clean my bedroom i just made the bed as you guys saw but i need to wipe down my dresser wipe down the nightstand and wipe down my desk and then i also want to clean in the bathroom just clean out the toilet and clean the sink and the mirror and everything like that yeah that's the game plan clean in here and clean up my bathroom a little bit and then we have a nice fresh room for the start of the month and the week as well on morning side got no stick in a ride if i take flicks with the guys i gotta put emojis over like three faces because the fans can't see those eyes people i shouldn't be beside when i was an actor they would go strap for just to sell food on the side any reasons why i'm this way my girl that's just one reason why i seen you around and so do it up man baby you love all some media guys obedient guys jokers and comedian guys you know i'm like six foot two and i write you love but you love all some medium guys I wanna keep you on a beach till 6 a.m. so you see sunrise. Seeing you from the stage in the 100s, these must be eagle eyes. Pressing against me, think about entry, know you could tell us a decent size. You wanna know the real me, girl, so you wanna see deep inside. If Chunks has on a Chanel side bag, you don't wanna see him reach inside. But we know some demon guys who tell us in evil eyes. You know that's how Jesus died, you know that's how Julius Caesar died. I bet they were decent guys, I swear they remind me of me sometimes. I'm trying to be under your breath. I just took my nighttime body shower and I have on some pajamas. I am going to start my nighttime routine for when I'm doing a reset. I like to do self care and journal. That is what we are about to do. I'm gonna do this cute little blue face mask. I just washed my face and brushed my teeth so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a curology update you guys it's going so well let me see what week I'm on actually okay I'm on week eight today two or three everything on this side is inactive uh, literally I love that everything on this side is inactive the thing about having post and inflammatory erythema I think it's called there's like post inflammatory hyperpigmentation and then there's post-inflammatory erythema and that is what you get when you have like a lighter skin tone and it shows up more red instead of like brown post acne marks but the only thing about them is that some of them are raised so they can seem like they're pimples but they're not pimples anymore yeah everything on this side is just marks and on this side I only have a few active breakouts I couldn't even tell you like which ones they are without having a mirror like in my face but that's a good sign I would say this is definitely worth it of course I told you guys that I've already used Curology before and it's the only thing that's ever cleared my skin so I knew that once I mess my skin up with like retinol and stuff that I needed to just get back on Curology but yeah I'm going on a trip to Florida in like 10 days and I was really wanting everything to be pretty much flat so I think that that is gonna happen fingers crossed and if not flat at least mostly healed and whenever I'm in Florida my skin always thrives I think it's just like the ocean the salt water the sun but I'm feeling a lot better about it obviously acne can cause I don't even want to say insecurity because I don't cover it up like I will go outside with my acne whatever but obviously no one wants to have acne so seeing it heal is so awesome also I've been liking the bioma moisturizer the pumps are really small but they still cover my whole face and neck and it hasn't been clogging my pores or anything like that so I would say overall skincare is doing really good I feel like I've found a good routine for the morning good routine for the night but yeah I just wanted to give you guys a little update once my skin is like mostly clear obviously marks take a while they can take weeks to months to fade but once my skin is mostly clear and I have no more active breakouts and I'm feeling like you can really see a difference in my skin I want to do a morning and nighttime skincare routine for you guys I'm gonna end up doing that as one of my videos but yeah I'm very happy so yeah there is a little nighttime skincare my curology update let's go over to my bed and we are going to look at our goals you guys know what time it is I have my notebook here I'm gonna go ahead and flip to the page that I wrote at the beginning of the year which is my first quarter goals January through March and I'm just gonna read them off and I'm gonna put a check mark next to them if I completed them a little slash if I am very close and then an X if I did not complete them at all so the first goal was to be in a solid health routine which I can put a check mark to I've gotten back into my morning routine I've been working out consistently back to eating right and drinking my water so that was a huge deal for me I 
needed that. I need that to thrive. I will not do well if I'm not in a good health routine. So I made sure to prioritize that. My second goal was to be monetized or very close to it. On YouTube, you need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours to get monetized. So I already have the thousand subscriber goal completed, but I am very, very close to 4,000 subscribers. I'm at 3,800 something. So literally 200 or so hours away from being monetized. I've been doing YouTube for three years, a little over three years. And this has obviously been a goal for a long time for me. So literally almost being there is so insane. And I feel so, so grateful. Thank you guys for watching my videos and helping me reach that goal and get those hours. The next goal was work with two brands. I have not done any sponsorships with brands brands but I have been sent items by brands I've been sent items to me that's working with brands and even though I haven't gotten paid by any of them I think that it's super cool to have been gifted these items and been on people's PR list or even on their radar in general to get an email by them so I'm gonna put a slash next to that my fourth goal was to hit 2,000 subscribers which I am so so close to hopefully in April I will hit 2,000 I think that that's very doable I'm only 40 subscribers away from 2k so I'm gonna put a slash next to that one and my last goal was to have a trip planned and I'm going to Florida on April 6th not a single one of my goals went incomplete but three of my goals were met and then two of them were very very close to being met so that is super that is super exciting and also helps me feel really confident and secure because I know that the goals that I set were attainable and that the next goals that I set are also going to be achieved I'm going to write down five goals for April, May, and June. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write down my new goals. Love for you.